Salutations, Salutations queens, queens and kings. kings. Welcome back, of course, to another wonderful reaction and another recap to P Valley. Mm -hmm. This is going to be season one, episode 104, The Trap, y'all. Yes. Let's get jump right on to it. Right into the what? <laughs> This episode was another great episode. We're going to jump right into it. We tried to touch on those high points as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Again, if we don't touch on anything, please feel free to keep the conversation going down below. Comment yep. and let us know what we missed and what you saw. Because what I saw and what we saw is not what you saw and vice versa. So I appreciate yes. you. Main points. Opening scene. All Boom. right. We're introduced to Freckles. That's what huh. Mercedes dubs this man. All right. This man is sitting there letting Mercedes do a, perform a lap dance on him. Was it Mercedes? I mean, not Mercedes. Mississippi. Mississippi. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Mississippi perform a lap dance on him. And he pretty much tells Mississippi, like, I don't understand why I should have to pay you to take your clothes off. Mm. Just degrading. Being very, just degrading women, mm -hmm. pretty much. And, right. and it's like, the way I felt was it just, why are you even here if that's what you're going to do? But Mercedes ended up walking over. And Mercedes was like, look, if that's how you feel and everything, just like I said, you should not be here. Mm -hmm. Run her her money so you can keep it pushing. And he was just like, no, I'm not going to do that. And ended up throwing the money on the ground mm -hmm. that he was going to give Mississippi. Now, unfortunately for him, unfortunately for this gentleman, once you start to get into a disrespectful stage, mm -hmm. someone's going to have to come and back that action up. And check you. Sir Diamond, which has actually been a very key character within the whole P-Valley movement. Yes. Not only just as the bouncer, but mm -hmm. just in general as a security enforcer within the whole projection of this, uh, this series. wonderful yep. series. Yeah, This man... Look at freckles right off the ground. I mean, hey. He said he's going to be disrespectful. He tapped the money on his head. I don't know what type of whey protein he's taking. I don't know what type of creatine he is taking. Or maybe it's just that southern street, straight, excuse me, straight cream of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. That's all you need. For real, bulk up. All you need is oatmeal, for real. You feel me? Cream of wheat. So when Mercedes saw that happen, she literally came and sat down and started eating his wings. I believe they're his wings. Yeah. She sat down and started eating his wings like, oh, this is attractive right now. The simple fact that uh, what uh, Mississippi had called him Toy. Yeah. Toy came over, picked it up for him, Diamond, just like you said, and had um, picked up the money for him. And, mm -hmm. and Mer Mercedes was very impressed. Either way, he ended up freckles ended up picking up the money handing it over to mississippi city mississippi takes the money and then mississippi tells uh mercedes tells mississippi like listen when someone comes in here what you need to realize is don't let nobody place their burdens on you no matter how they feel when they come up in here don't let them do that to you and Mississippi was like, what if he's right? The simple fact that he doesn't feel like he should have to pay me to take off my clothes. Mm. And that's when um, Mercedes pretty much like got her together. Like, come on, like you can't even be thinking that. But it was like a little screen. It was like a little, a little clip it. Oh, I said clip it. A little snippet into her mind and how she, she feels about herself. Mm. And how Mississippi really truly feels about herself. Yeah. Because we know that she's also going through her abusive relationship. So right. that definitely speaks volumes to her self-confidence at this moment. Mm. It's easy to get down on yourself. Especially when you have someone reinforcing that at your house. Right. And telling you that you're not worth anything. Right. And then going into the workplace and being mm -hmm. reintroduced to city, into the same mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, happening on that next scene. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> and um, the thing that I like that you said about this, you were saying that. Um, okay, here we go. The one thing that I appreciated about King in this situation, he was saying that even though that guy did what he did, right. it's kind of like you have to meet people where they are. If, yes. <laughs> So he was meeting a quote unquote a center ex exactly the way the center was. Mm -hmm. um, if you're gonna go into the pink, you know exactly what you get yourself into. I'm not sure how many yes. gentlemen 
go inside of a strip club, but you know exactly how much you need to spend, how much they're mm -hmm. looking for you to spend, how much they're looking for you to engage with their target audience, and you actually happen to be that target audience. But I think it was funny the way that he was degrading, and at the same time, he was still kind of trying to get a little free lap dance out of the whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, he was Thank trying to get you. a little free little lap dance. Thank play. you. Mercedes did a wonderful job being an OG. Like, look, man, stop letting stop these people playing. tell you or make you feel a specific way because you're only doing what you're supposed to do. They wouldn't be here unless they wanted to, you know, per partake in the mm -hmm. arrangements that were set up. I yes, mean, hey. and you use the service, so you have to pay for said service yeah. no matter how you feel about it. Exactly. You got car insurance, right? You got <laughs> right. pay for that service every month. You got to make sure if something goes down, you can put the deductible down for it. Say if it's a broken window, I don't know, whatever else your insurance happens to cover. Yes, but exactly. She was looking forward to be covered. Mississippi was like, look, this dude came in here feeling some type of way. Mm -hmm. But luckily for Mercedes, again, you have an OG status that's able to at least let you know you need to be paid what you're worth. Yes. Don't let anyone degrade you, no matter how you feel. He knew what he was getting himself into when he came here, and vice versa. Yep, know your worth, then add tax. Point blank period. The next scene that we see is Autumn. We see that we're reintroduced to the fact that she is still able to transfer this money somehow mm. to herself, to herself in quotes. And then go to the actual wiring place. It's like tele Telemex or something like that. And I'm um, able to acquire the money for that wire transfer. It's like $9,000. Yeah, and, and I think it's like each week. Like they're not, I'm not sure if I paid attention to the dates or anything. But mm -hmm. it seems like it's once a week or once a month. But it's a lot of money that she's able to um, send herself each week. Yeah, for some or people, each month. For some people, $9,000 is a lot. Other people that just wipe your yeah. money and just keep moving along with what you got going <laughs> on with your life. But exactly. I will agree to that. I'm not sure what type of scam or whatever yeah. uh, pyramid scheme, whatever scheme she has going on, definitely is not legal, y'all. Please do not do what she's doing. Changing her identification, still going in with the same ID. Look. I understand the, the broad point of what you're putting into yes. it, but um, I know the way that everyone else is looking into it. That don't look right. That don't that don't look kind of right. But hey, mm -mm. Uh, we found this much, you know, that much about Autumn is that she obviously has a way to collect her income, yeah. and she's coming up very quickly. Mercedes even called her out like, <laughs> "Shorty walking into the pink like she got ten grand on her." Mm, she yes. actually did. Yes, Mercedes even said that when she pulled up at the paint because she was like calling her mom to um to acquire the money that she had given her because she had already agreed with her mom she was gonna give her the money. Yes. And you know that's skipping forward a, a forward a slight bit. Just but the next bit. scene we actually see is Mercedes having like a flash to what it would look like if she actually has the Chuckalees, the Challengers inside of the building that mm -hmm. she wants to rent. And you're getting this feel, the way they showcase the scene, it's like, oh snap, she got the building, like she got her money, da da da. Yep. But it was just like a flash into her envisioning what it would look like eventually. And she's talking with the um, with the realtor and she's saying, this is where, you know, I'm going to keep my files at. This is where the girls going to practice at. This is where the locker rooms are going to be. Mm -hmm. And the realtor is just like, okay, so you plan on, I think the realtor was kind of asking her like, so this is going to be a restaurant or is this going to, she was trying to get something that made sense to her. And Mercedes was like, no, this is going to be a gym for, mm -hmm. uh, not that type of gym, but a gym for my majorettes. And the realtor kind of downplayed her like you're going to have a subscription based gym with some yeah, girls and you're yeah. trying to teach them how to dance. Yeah. She did not have faith in her vision at all. Crazy. And she, the realtor was trying to talk Mercedes out of actually owning it and, she, you know, leasing it. She was like, why don't you just rent it? And she was like, mm, no, I'm pretty committed on this. I'm committed mm -hmm. to these girls. So I want to own this place. 
and the realtor pretty much told her like okay i'll you know entertain it but mm -hmm. i will also let you know that instead of 200 dollars a month that you want to char charge those girls for you need to charge them 250 because dreams are expensive so make them pay for it right and that's pretty much what mercedes was telling her like i'm gonna have a subscription i got over 10 girls that's gonna pay me 200 dollars a month we're gonna be good all this is gonna be paid for right and realtor was like i would up that charge <laughs> Right, mm -hmm. because also on the realtors end too as well, they were getting a ton, a ton of offers. Yeah. But it comes to buying up that property, buying up that whole set. Now, if you know and you've been watching P Valley this whole time, you know the secret when it came to Andreas. He was working for his god daddy, the first mayor, Chuggalita, Chuggalita, Chuggalita. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, so they're able to provide some type of income to the actual economy that's already there. Yep. Provide a little, a little extra help, but when mm -hmm. we look at this complete scene itself, it is dangerous. It's fully dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yep. For everyone that's involved, it's fully dangerous. Yep. Um. Hmm. Where are we gonna go from here? I was gonna say the next thing is pretty much where we see Autumn um, um, getting taught by Gidget how mm. to use the pole mm -hmm. because Gidget pretty much said, Uncle Clifford said, You're not getting back on that pole right. unless you learn how to work it because you almost busted your ass last time. Now, everybody, Gidget actually provided a very true atmospheric advancement yes. when it comes to the artistic viewership. Mm -hmm. When you see a woman on the pole, it's exactly that. It's, it's not, not about, about strength it at all. Now, strength. Strength does help with the endurance yes. and how long and you're some on of that the tricks. Some Absolutely. of the tricks. Absolutely. Yes, strength. But it's about the way that you are able to push your body and keep it moving. Yes. You have to use, you shift your weight. Yeah. And that creates that centripetal force. What nobody is need. telling you about energy is <laughs> the same way that we're projecting onto you is we hope that our energy is very neutral but provides some type of little bit of positivity that you can add yeah. on to the rest of your life. Energy is passed from one individual to the next. It never dissipates. It just happens to pass. All right. And that's exactly what Gidget was trying to tell Autumn. Hey, look. You got it, Charlotte. You be you beautiful and all that other stuff. But if you're going to do something here with your artistic value, yes. push your body, make yes. it move Shift your for weight. you. Mm -hmm. Shift that weight, and then you move on with the remainder of your performance. Yes. Can I say that that's exactly what she did, or is she getting better at it? Maybe so. Is she exactly. getting better at it? Not really, because we really didn't see her working on the pole. She pretty much, our night just gave up, and she was like, this is not for me. I don't have the upper body strength for it. Mm. So the next thing that we were introduced to is Mississippi talking to Uncle Clifford. And Uncle Clifford came up, and he was like, oh, this is a nice little, you know, setup here where we have this trinity mm. um we have autumn night mississippi and gidget versus mercedes mississippi and gidget so she was pretty much saying like oh, okay this is nice what you are gonna do we're gonna do um you as the as the trinity instead and the mississippi pretty much said no gidget and i are going to be our own duo salt and pepper, salt and pepper. That's because crazy. autumn night like That's she's struggling <laughs> Yeah. So they might as well do their own thing. And I really loved um, Gidget and Mississippi's dance. I believe it was in the third episode when they did that duo dance. Mm -hmm. The artistry. I really, really appreciate it. And shout out to the, um, to the, what's it called? Uh, what are they? To the stunt doubles. Yeah, shout out to the stunt doubles that actually helped them perform the different scenes and stuff that they do as well. Mm -hmm. But that's what I really appreciate. And um, that's what Mississippi was pretty much just letting Clifford know, updating him on. Since Mercedes is leaving, mm -hmm. this is her last dance episode, then we're going, Gidget and Mississippi are going to be doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. And um, Uncle Clifford was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And Mississippi also hinted to Gidget and Autumn Knight that this whole casino thing is happening right. where someone, where the casino is going to be built over top of the paint. Right. And Uncle Clifford is kind of like downplaying, like, girl, what you talking about? You don't know what you're talking, what you're talking about. So that was pretty much the next scene, just them introducing you to the salt and pepper duo that Mississippi and Gidget are going to have. And then also letting the rest of the dancers know mm -hmm. that 
they're starting to peep game on the simple fact that there may not be a pink once this casino mm -hmm. is built. Yeah. That's scary. That's very now, scary. This casino is also on very, very rough edges when it comes to the individuals that want to put their interest down. Now, it's apparent that yes. they're already given enough money. They're already given a very minimum balance that they pretty much have to work on. Mm -hmm. But it's funny that they have individual small towns that actually have the vacancy to open up and put this same casino in. It just happens that yes. this particular town needs it the most. Because if they don't, we're caught in that same loop. And it's unfortunate. I don't think that they're going to survive another 10 years with the same systematic, with the same uh, towns that are in that, that or, or the businesses that are still portraying themselves in that same town. But I'll give it that. Clifford, uh, Clifford, doing his best especially when it comes to the you know the debt that you know found himself and a lot of things happen to a lot of small businesses that are actually like this in small town yes that that that's actually a very mm -hmm. big highlight that we should look into yes a lot of small businesses and there's nothing wrong with those uh uh other sisters that were in there that felt some type of way yes and after they had that clifford kind of just like was just like mulling over what mississippi had said like okay yeah whatever i don't know what you're talking about he pulls autumn to the side and to his back office and he right. tells autumn i'm gonna need you to keep a relationship with this guy okay who andre yes yeah <laughs> andre the guy that you're like how is he so smart to set up all these business deals, but yeah. how is he not smart enough to keep his files under wraps? Your yeah, guy, yeah. your guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. your guy Andre. Yeah. And uh, Autumn is pretty much like, I don't want to deal with that creep. Like he has pictures of me standing in front of the pink smoking a cigarette. Now, and and sorry, before come you on. say something, come on, Uncle Clifford said, mind you, you ain't special. He has uh, pictures of me too. Right. So this is obviously something that has been happening for a long period. You know, mm -hmm. before Autumn got there, Uncle Cliff was already hip to the simple fact that he had been watched. Mm. Mm-hmm. Used to being watched, apparently. Used to it. Let's keep in mind that, again, a lot of success for the pink is being held at a very, very, very thin, thin piece of opportunity here. Yep. A lot of these young ladies have a lot of connections to the individuals that live in this town that actually bring people there. Exactly. Now, this particular episode actually drawn into Mercedes' last dance. This is big. This is somebody that's, from her understanding, has spent the last seven years yes. stacking her money. And she's trying to retire. That says a lot about somebody. At 25. That says a lot. How many of y'all can say that you're ready to actually retire at the age of 25? Look at that hand going up here. <laughs> say neighbor. Right. Neighbor. <laughs> How many neighbor. of you are actually ready? And that's an opportunity that a lot of us can take. But it depends on what type of mm, uh, situation, situation or yourself. business we'll, business that yes. you project yourself into. So... I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it to you very short and sweet. Mm -hmm. If you are someone that's in accounting or dealing with money, you understand that you have three tracks that you can go down. Yep. You have a very fast track. You have a track that's moderate, pretty con moderate. And you have a conservative track. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you have a very optional view about which way you want to focus your money and the way you want to focus your business now today these young ladies that happen to be projecting themselves onto the mm -hmm. pink in their artistry they're living in a very fast track i need to get that money and it needs to come the way i snap my fingers and that quick that money needs to be attributed to whatever retirement plan that they have implant it yeah. also they have to think about the tax that needs to come out of that the yes. only person i've seen out of this whole this beautiful production is actually mercedes she's identified that she's going to project herself within a business plan her model is a retirement within the seven seven years 
that she has put into place. A lot of people can be overnight success within 10 years yeah. if you actually put your motto and your plan in action. Seven years, you're actually counting it a very thin slice. A lot of people get rich in five. Five! Your average rapper, your average rapper, listen to me. Your average rapper has to think about two to four years about their character and how they're going to sell their first production. A lot of rappers don't even get past their first year. You have some people that get a song, a album out there, and exactly what Queen is laughing at. You got this first little song album that's laughable but does it have the energy to actually carry you into your retirement can you travel around the world with this song yes i'm all yes with this artistic viewership and sell it um if i'm not mistaken i'm if i'm not mistaken there's only been a few artists that actually have sold one album maybe even two that's actually able to go around the world and continue to sell that that's big. So all I'm saying is, don't look at these young women as if they're wrong in their business practices yeah. because you have a lot of like people. What the first guy tried, didn't he? What? You have a lot of people that's in the banks, man. They tell you right now, yeah, you got $7,000 I put into the market. We're going to let this thing go. You don't want to be a moderate conservative, but you can I'm lose awesome. your money. No, it, it, Ooh, they, they better feel right it. Now. They're like they're getting all of this Key Valley review. Absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead. So I don't. I, I I didn't want to be too far with it. All all I have to say is with that first with that first scene, I really <sighs> do see a lot of the young women. They're they're very um, charismatic, but they're also worried about what their next steps are going to be because the word is out. Hey, the yeah. pink may be going downhill, and we don't know where we're going to get our next um, our next paycheck from. That, that's that's some real shit. Yeah, I believe that was later on in the episode because they hadn't been uh later on in the episode, but um, Clifford, uh, Uncle Clifford, he definitely took September October in the back to talk to her about it. Ah, and oh, I loved when he said uh, September October, like I need to talk to you. I love that. Just at the beginning. Stupid. Um, but either way, the next scene that we see is Andre having a meeting with his godfather and the actual casino potential uh owner you know the actual um casino owner they're having a meeting and andre's just showing him the plan and showing that everything is good to go as far as all the land acquisitions but andre did let the potential owner know that there is possibly going to be an issue with the owner of the pink you see this i'm not doing it for no reason you have a clear see it. do it again all right all right. <laughs> yes. All right, y'all. We got a clear, clear issue going on right now. It's gone. But we have one heads and one tails. Either this joint is going to go right or it's going to go downhill. Mm -hmm. Now, from Andre's projection, they only have one person to worry about, and that's the pink. Everybody else apparently is going to sell out. You got the cowboys. Yeah, yeah, and that's pre farm. that's pretty they're much fine. what he was saying. Like, when it comes to the Kyle family, they mm -hmm. are more than likely going to be willing to lease the land. Mm -hmm. Andre kind of teetered on that and didn't really tell him that there is Corbin, which we talked about last uh, our last review. You can click on, you can go check that out yeah. as well on our channel. Mm -hmm. And um, just pretty much, Kyle uh, Corbin wants to make sure that they rent the land versus fully selling Lease because that would be yes that would be a longer term that they're able to acquire more equity and money and funds with their family and stack mm -hmm. bread so mm -hmm. the only thing that Corbin talked about, I mean excuse me the only thing that Andre talked about during this meeting was that there is a potential that paint will be the land acquisition that will be the hardest. Right. His godfather, the black male Chuggalisa, he was irritated that Andre even brought this up because after they ended the video call, he talked to Andre and was just like, why would you even bring that up? Mm. But um, one thing during the video call that I do want to point out, which King um, pointed out to me, was that during the video call, mm. um, 
when Andre told the owner, the mm -hmm. potential owner of the casino, hey, mm -hmm. the person of the pink, the owner of the pink, may be a little bit difficult right. for us to acquire that land. And he was saying that, hey, maybe you should just make them an offer, make the person an offer that owns the pink that they can't refuse. Mm -hmm. And the owner of the potential casino said, well, now, why do, why would we even make him an offer when he's about to be on the chopping block anyway? And the mayor, Chuck Lisa, was like, dang, y'all white people just bold with it. And he was like, no, the white guy was, he was like, no, that's, that's not what I meant. I pretty much meant. And then meant what he said after that, <laughs> you took it the wrong way. I took what you said the wrong way. The wrong way. So <clears throat> I found it very awkward that after that, after that individual told yes. him that, he tells his assistant. <sighs> The video conference ends, and he want the black mayor Chuck Lisa wants to have a conversation with Andre. Mm. So he says, um, Eloise, can you? Uh, his assistant is sitting next to him during this whole thing. He said, Eloise, can you go get me? Uh, uh, and he he actually doesn't want her to go get him anything. Mm -hmm. He is just saying, like, like catch the hint. I'm asking you to just get out of the room. Mm -hmm. And he says, Bitch, just leave. Now, why didn't you say that to that other man? How can you ain't say that to that other man when you caught exactly what he was saying to you? Oh, auction block. You caught the wrong thing that I was saying, but you ain't want to say that to that man. That, that's, that's, look, 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 y'all. Look, y'all. Look, 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 look. I understand the writing aspect. If you're going to go at somebody, go at that person. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing in the long run is putting our women especially how the way black women have been holding down this complete holding show. up this complete show not only with the church we talked about that last time we're not even gonna get into that because we remember <laughs> when um mercedes mom was talking having that little meeting with her church the pastor told her we understand that black women are the backbone of the church but you also have to be willing to submit to your elders so all i want to know is when you understood how racist this individual man was during a <laughs> video <laughs> video call conference, why didn't you call this man out, but then got the nerve to say, call Just your leave. woman a bit? Just leave. Leave. Yeah. She got yeah. up and walked out, and Andre was yeah. like, I'm surprised Eloise has not sued your ass yet. Exactly. Because she's in all right, actually. If Eloise, Eloise, listen to me. If you in the North, baby, okay, I don't know who you call somebody. All right, because he should be treating me like that. And you damn sure have been putting up with enough bullshit. The, definitely. Yes. Definitely. The mayor shuts Andre down when he even talked about the simple fact that Eloise should have seen him already. He said, listen. We in the South. I am trying to hold on to my legacy. We in the South. And what you're doing now with the Kyle family and everything, you are trying to ruin my legacy. I could be the one black person who singly single-handedly made it rain in Chuckalisa. so he tells Andre he gives him a ultimatum and he says by the end of the week I'm gonna need you to have that deal closed with the Kyle family oh boy and I'm gonna need you also to stay away from the pink point let's blank period let's run this up point blank period so then right after that yeah, so then um, the next scene after that, we see that Mercedes ends up calling. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like sliding because of my, my uh, bad, dress. It's fine. But um, the next scene after that, we see Mercedes sitting inside of what looks like to be Terrica's room, which is we discovered in the last episode is her daughter. Yeah. And she's sitting inside of Terrica's room and she's calling her mom to try and figure out like, where where are you? I need to let like, you know that I need this money so yeah. I can pick it up for my deposit because oh that's another thing we didn't mention the lady the realtor after she heard what mercedes plan was for the building she yeah. said i'm gonna need you to run me that deposit by the end of this week yeah because just like you said there's a lot of buyers wow. and you up there with this little flighty you know girl majorette thing and the subscription <laughs> i'm gonna need you to run me this money prior to 
the other thing that I didn't mention is that the mayor actually let the future owner of the casino or casino mm -hmm. know that he is going to implement a special ordinance that will expedite the foreclosure. So he's pulling out all types of stops to make this happen because like he said, this is going to be his legacy. Mm -hmm. Next scene we see is um, Mercedes' mom. And she's giving it her all in the church. Because mm. as we saw in the last episode, she's already practiced. And she already knows exactly what she needs to say to get the crowd riled up. And she's trying to conjure up that good, um, that shouting spirit. You know, when the um, church gets into it and you get that doom, 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 doom. She's trying to get people into that spirit. And she pretty much gets everybody there and riles everybody up. And the and the pastor, you can tell that he's a little bit like ticked off by that. Like, why are you doing that when I already told you that it's gonna be um the another elder, elder somebody, Clyde, mm -hmm. I believe, or something. Mm -hmm that he actually is going to be the one that is going to be leading the service and right. getting everybody to that point right. to where they do want to donate. Mm -hmm. So he quickly, <laughs> he tries to cut her off in the middle of her, not sermon because this was like the pre prelude to the sermon, right? but he pretty much like tries to snatch the mic away from her. He's like, all right, thank you, Sister Claudia. She's like, no, and I'll tell you another thing. And then she walks off of the, um, the stage and then goes down by the audience and stuff and is getting them riled up even more. Mm -hmm. He comes down, snatches her into a room, mm -hmm. one of the side rooms, and he was like, what do you think you're doing? Whole hot mic, hot mic and everything. Yo. Yes, right. and that was the thing that King, King was like, oh, everybody going to hear this. Yeah. Nobody did. He pretty much pulled her into the room and was like, what do you think you're doing? You, There's no way that there's going to be a woman at the head of this church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you know that now. Mm -hmm. And she pretty much said, like, I thought you told me that you wanted to see how I did on the pulpit. Right. Or is that what you tell all your church hosts? <laughs> Big blow. <laughs> right. And he pretty much was just like, no, there's not going to be a woman at the head of this church. That's crazy. what you need to realize. That's crazy, y'all. And that was the moment where she started thinking differently. I Absolutely. will say that. Absolutely. Either way. Next scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, brother. Which is crazy, y'all, because this oh, is the same yeah, man that said yeah. that the black woman He's... was the backbone of the church. But go ahead. Yes, exactly. That's another quote that he, I was going to mention as well. He said, woman, a woman has no place on the pulpit, mm. so you need to stay in your lane or find another church. Which? You need to stay in your lane Which? or find another Let's go church. Ahead. Mercedes, mm -hmm. okay? One of her regulars gives her this chain. It says Mercedes, really nice, really decked out. Mm -hmm. That's really, really cute. I appreciate that. And then that's when um, we also see Mississippi's walking in after, she, walking into the locker room after she's done with one of her regulars. And she lets the dancers know, like, at the end of the day, when this casino comes, like, da 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 da. And she pretty much, like, lets it slip about the casino. And people are like, what? Like, there's going to be a casino that takes over the paint? And. Mercedes lets um, all the other dancers know like everything is going to be fine. No, the casino is not going to come. Uncle Clifford is just a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. And Uncle Clifford looks at her like, why are you even talking about that? Mm -hmm. And the other strippers like confront her pretty much just like, why would you even talk about this? Like, how could the uh, pink be closing down? And Mercedes was like, well, what I told y'all always is that you should have been um, stacking your paper. Because out of all those seven years, I was able to get my gym. She was like, no one's told you. No. <laughs> she told uh, one of the strippers, no one told you to have all those kids. Okay. Mm. After seven years, I got my gym. Mm. Okay. So that's pretty much what she ended up saying. You should have been squirreling yours away. And that's pretty much how it was left. Like, you, if you weren't saving, I don't know what to tell you. Retirement plan, yeah. Yeah, so the next uh, we see is Autumn and Andre. They meet and um, they're having like their little back and forth. And she's just like, why were you recording me? And Andre's just like, you know, it's just business. And you should have been minding your business pretty much. And Autumn is just like, they're just going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then eventually um, Andre hits a soft spot with Autumn. And he's like, well, you should not well why don't you go home and take care of your daughter or something he says 
and Damn she moved my brother. Yes, and that's when she starts doing like that little like hitting thing and starts crying, just like well, forget you, honey, oh, forget you. you. Yeah, nah, nah. I hate that. It's like if you're really bad, you go on, you know. But that's just me. But she he would she just pretty much called him a self righteous hypocritical bastard and mm. called him trying to be Captain Sabaho and now mm. he's like wishy washy. Mm. So either way, you know she starts crying. I hate you, Andre. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And um, King felt like during this situation, like even though if they wanted to showcase that scene where she was like hitting him and just like I hate you Andre maybe they should have made it more com comedic can you please stop with that like make it comedic hey can you please just give her like some boxing moves like one two three four five six honestly I think if she would have punched him and he would have gotten knocked out that would have opened up a whole separate dynamic for the uh, for the show. If he if she, if Autumn would have punched Andre and she would and he would have knocked out, you would have yeah. been like, who is she? That would have been hilarious. You thought it would have been funny? Yeah, I, I think I think you all would have gotten away with it, and and we would have been able to attract to the next one because I would have <laughs> forgotten the fact that he got knocked. Yeah, right. It just would have been so, so much funny. Going on. Yeah, it, it was so, so much going on. It would have been funny that I would have been like. <laughs> Yeah, he really got knocked out like some like Aaliyah Ali like type joint. Like he really got knocked out. Like mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that would have been funny. Please yeah. keep that in mind. Yes. Either, Comedy. Please. E yes. Either way, we the next scene we see is Autumn like waking up in the hotel room with Andre and she's pretty much just like, um, our scars I guess are more like open wounds and and she pretty much told him, like, I'm surprised you didn't come over here. And he's like, well, I had to straighten up from that last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course she Which did. appears as of though that he got did. his money back for those condoms. He he held on to his receipt. Yeah. Okay. Hold on to your receipt, y'all. Hold on to that receipt. So, either way, they end up leaving each other and, um, you know, like, leaving out of the hotel room. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's wild. Oh, okay. And then right after that, we see Autumn going right back to doing her money transfer. Yep. And this is King. Where this is another time where King as well is like she's a scammer. Okay. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I know a scammer when I see one. That's a scammer, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you gonna go in so many different wigs? All right, now. Yes. Yes. Same ID, different wig. <sighs> yes. Each same bait. <laughs> Like different location, but you got on different ways. I mean, come on, y'all. Yes. But um, either way, they ended up. Um, the next scene after that is Mercedes walking in, and mm -hmm. her she's getting ready for her last dance, and and see, she, she's trying not to. She's trying to interact with the girls, but you can tell some of them are just like a little ticked off the simple fact that she's leaving because it's like you know you're the og you're yep. the one thing that's consistent Bring in here keeping money. everything yep. yes keeping everything flowing so they're pretty much like ticked off a little bit from what we could see and then after she starts interacting with certain people she was just like all right whatever i'm just gonna keep to myself mm -hmm. and she goes over to her locker and she opens it and she sees that there's pictures hanging um off of like little strings in her locker and someone has decorated her locker with like yep. lights and everything and yep. pictures yep. showing like her highlights of her being in the paint and she turns around, like everyone's standing next to her, and she's like, "Okay, who did this and made me f up my mascara? Like, who's responsible?" She <laughs> right? She was like, "Who's responsible for this and had me f up all my mascara?" And then they pretty much go through like this montage of helping her get ready for her last dance. Mm -hmm. The vendor that is there in the locker room, she had a custom gown made for not gown, but a custom piece of floss mm -hmm. made for Mercedes, like a little bralette. And well, like um, underwear as well, but it like fit her perfectly. Either way, you see it, you see. Let me see what it is. She was amazing. Yes. So that is when um, Mercedes sits down and she's like getting ready for her last day. And she's looking in the mirror, and Mississippi pretty much says like, "At the end of the day, I'm just pretty. That's my only strength." You know, like, you're strong. You can make it out there in the real world. But my only strength is being pretty. 
And Mercedes is like, no, like, that's not even true. And trying to convince her otherwise. But, but Mississippi is just like, it is what it is. The show must go on. And she just keeps it pushing. Mm -hmm. Did she prove those individuals wrong? Yeah. Our next scene is definitely... Our Lady Mercedes meeting up with her mother no, to get. No, oh no! <laughs> oh, it's not. I'm running so, a little ahead of schedule, y'all. My bad. The next thing we see is DJ Murder actually walking up to. No, it's a DJ Murder. Little. The next scene that we see is Little Murder watching up, walking up to DJ Never Scared, and he's saying, "Hey, you need that. to play my music for me." Will Mercedes he ever year. get the freaking play time? And he does. He does, but it comes with a cost, y'all. Yes. It comes yes. with a cost. Yes, exactly. He so, gets his and a little extra. Yes. So Mercedes comes out and she's like surveying the crowd before her first dance. And she ends up having a um, a toast with one of the guys at VIP. And she pretty much tells him like, hey, uh, he pretty much says like, I would never, <laughs> I would never miss Mercedes last dance. And that around, around that same time they're taking the shots, that's as well when Little Murder was like, came over in the VIP section and actually ended up saying, hey, Mercedes, what's going on? But the actual, <laughs> I can't focus. But that's when the actual guy in VIP, he was like, um... I don't understand why Lil Murder is coming over here. Like, he jumped up as soon as Lil Murder walked over. And she, Mercedes was like, it's all cool. You know, he fam. And um, they ended up having their discussion. Lil Murder was like, I appreciate you. And, you know, good luck tonight when you're performing. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, but I really appreciated that scene just depicting how quickly main uh which was the guy's name in vip i really appreciate that scene depicting how quickly he was willing to jump into um defense for mercedes i i really do appreciate which that obviously shows that there's some him. type of connection between the two yes but uh definitely he, yeah. he, he he you know he was willing to risk his own uh liberty freedom yeah I, he, he said was what's good so when little Mer Little Murder barely said two things before he jumped in the action. He said, no, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, she, these little the, niggas she don't said, know no. protocol. Yes, and that's exactly what he said. These little niggas don't know protocol. And she quickly told him, like, no, 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 no. It was beautiful. I just love that. Protect black women. Okay? Absolutely. Protect black women. Um, and she wasn't trying to make sure that no uh, undesirable actions with them between the both of them. Exactly. Because he honestly, he honestly knew protocol. He was just a little, you know. When you hungry, yeah. you hungry. When you trying to get out there and you see the OGs and you already flossing, they already went through their hard times and stuff like that, and you a youngin out there, yep. and you trying to make your way through that journey, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro, but... There is a protocol. Trust. There is. Rules you gotta follow. There's rules all the time, bro. Follow them rules. But you know, you know you got for them that, that understand what I'm saying, you gotta take that little edge to get through there now. You got now you know, Lil Mer he 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 took some extra like I said, he had his extras. Yes. So I the next ain't got scene, to do with that. So the next thing that we actually see mm -hmm. is Autumn challenging Mercedes in a way because she sees um well actually we see Mercedes first on the phone contacting her mom and she's like hey meet me at the she said meet her at somewhere pretty Kroger's much like, yeah the Kroger's he told me outside the Kroger's you feel me, Go me ahead, outside of the Kroger's and I'll be there yeah. and that's when um she hangs up the phone you see her getting like putting on clothes so she can actually go mm. and meet with her mom because mm. she already has on her and that's another thing I didn't mention the vendor from down in the locker room made her a custom outfit. I did mention that a little bit, but they do have a custom outfit that they made for Mercedes her last dance. It was all sparkly, yo. Exactly. Like that diamond floss, sparkly. okay? Great. So she ends up um, putting on her clothes. She's going to meet her mom. She hangs up the phone, and Autumn is like, you know that locker is going to be up for grabs as soon as you leave. Mm -hmm. And Mercedes was like, well, you can't expect to get it because you haven't worked for it. And Autumn pretty much is just like, whatever. Like, once you leave, like, it's whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, Mercedes just ends up leaving. And, um... 
After she ends up leaving. Yes, after she ends up leaving. She go find her mother. And some oh, other things oh, start to tra uh, trans uh, transpire too as well. See, when you oh, have said, someone that has middle no, stage listen. that don't take their no, place. Listen. Go ahead, go ahead, baby. Right after, uh, right after she um, talks to Autumn, she Autumn pretty much asks her like, "Do you have any advice for those coming after you?" Mm -hmm. And Mercedes pretty much says like, "You never know when you're gonna have to turn a closed door into a window." Oh shit! And yeah. Autumn's like, "You mean a uh, went Oh, uh, and Autumn like pretty much corrects her on what she said, and she was like, "No, I said what I said," and you can just see their dynamic there where that's like that power struggle, or whatever they're trying to. Do display either way she mm -hmm. goes mercedes goes finally meets up with the realtor and she said the realtor said oh my goodness mercedes i'm sorry the buyer had actually already made the deposit on the property who the buyer though and mercedes was like what she's like what do you mean a buyer already made a deposit and then you can see mercedes mom walking up and Mercedes says, Mom, what are you doing here? Uh-oh. And the realtor says, oh, that's your mom? Uh-oh. Oh, no. And she just walks off. The realtor just walks off. And you're like, why is she walking off? Turns out, Mercedes' mom says, the Lord has put it on my heart mm. to buy this property. Mm. And I'm the one that just put a down payment on my church. I'm talking about some Mercedes. Jeff. You remember before when the pastor of her original church, Sister Cladell's church, told her, You either going to have to learn how to submit in mm. your place mm. or get your own church. Mm. Sister Cladell said, Honey, I got the money for my own church. I'm going to mm. take my daughter's money. 20 and grand. Go get my own church. 20 grand. What Jane pointed out to me, which is very valid. Sister Cladell, your selfish A double money sign don't even get the pulpit. You don't get, you don't have nothing. You just going there with faith and. Yes! You are not ready like Mercedes. Like, Mercedes doesn't need any equipment or any furniture or anything like that. Like, church, you need equipment and furniture. I've We've helped churches relocate. We know what you're moving in and out of a church. Ain't need them pulpit. Ain't need a place. Benches, yes. Where people pray down and they put their dollars in. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She was tripping, y'all. I'm just saying. How are you going to steal from your own daughter, though? After you done demonized her from doing the same thing you took money from her doing. That's all I'm asking. Mercedes said, you stole my money and you proceeded mean? to choke her mom. Now, yeah. King said, I appreciate this, though. I would not hit my mom. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Y'all think I'm but, crazy. I'm not that crazy. And I appreciate, no, for real. I appreciate y'all not showing that um the black woman actually, like, against hitting each other. her black yeah. yeah i appreciate you not showing a black woman against her black daughter i appreciate you not showing that because that's actually something uh worth substance that we need to work on but yeah. what i will go into the the aspect of King said i don't understand why she, i wouldn't punch I, my mom but i, I don't understand why but she i did. understand why she did i would not <laughs> I ever do that to my mother but i she understand got why she did by that two people absolutely <laughs> at the same time but again Uncle clifford and her mom and her mother <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, because oh, I've learned, you know, like, I, when you learn, you understand certain things, like, you see it. So, you know, when I see a pimp, I see a pimp, you know, you feel me? And mm -hmm. there, was, there was two pimps, and they pimped the same person, and two people got out, whatever they wanted to get out of this individual, but... Yeah, King said, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no it. killer, but no push me. Absolutely so, not. That's the end of it. That's so the of end of it. <laughs> So, of course, we get uh, taken back to the pink, and they're wondering, um, we see Uncle Clifford, and he's pretty much been trying to manage the crowd, like, yeah. Mercedes is not here yet, yo, like, keep it cool, calm down, Mercedes is not here, but trust and believe she's going to be here soon. And then the crowd is just, like, chanting, Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. 
So then Uncle Clifford goes into the back and he's like, all right, I'm going to have to go on stage for Mercedes because obviously she's not answering our phone calls. She's not doing nothing. So he starts pretty much like getting ready to pick out his flaws to go out on stage. So then um, Mississippi is like, all right, I'll go out there and do it. So he was like, he was like, wait, 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 wait. So you saying you gonna go out there and represent for Mercedes? She said, yeah, I'll go out there and do it. Mississippi to Mississippi and her Ew. stunt devil. Ah, crooked letter, crooked letter. letter. Ah, humpback, humpback. Ah, <laughs> I messed up. Ew. Ah, crooked letter, crooked letter. Ah, crooked letter, crooked letter. Ah, humpback, humpback. Ah, we gonna get that right this time. <laughs> We're gonna get that right this time. We're gonna get this right. <laughs> you are too funny. You One more are time. Too funny. M I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, ah. Crooked letter, crooked letter, ah. Hump back, hump back, ah. Fuck you. Yes, me. Mississippi. Mississippi, you did like all the off snaps for you and your performance. You killed it. I love when I see someone on the pole and they make me hold my breath. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Indeed. Mississippi took all of Mercedes last dance money. Okay, we realize now at this point, we also see after Mercedes dance and everything, that Mercedes is in the back of a squad car being taken to jail for wrecking with her mom. It did come to fisticuffs, it did come to blows. She had to let her mom know. You take my money, I take these hands upside your head. But again, we appreciate you not showing us all of that. See, okay? Yes. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And another thing that I loved as well that I do want to point out mm -hmm. <sighs> Little Murder finally got his song played. Yeah. It, it came with a cause. And when, yes, it did come with a cause, but I love when they depicted his joy. Because what I, um, the part that I skipped over, mm -hmm. he actually got into a fight with one of his um, consultants in the club, and they ended up getting kicked out. Like and he that. was sitting outside of the club, and he heard Mercedes, um, Mississippi, performing in lieu of Mercedes because he really wanted Mercedes to perform to his uh, yeah. song yeah. but he heard Mississippi performing to his song and he was out there crying he's like that's my song you know how you see kids, artists out there you know how you see parents that's like that's my that's my son that's my son right there Lil Murray was out there crying because his song was being played and I was I was crying with him because I love that depiction I love showing um, black men showing their true emotions, especially a cry. I yeah. appreciated that crap. That was so, 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 so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I appreciated that too as well. He was being very open. Yes. And, and there's a lot of artists that actually feel like that from yes. day to day. Uh, right now, during the coronavirus show. It's a big deal to get your show, song played. Hey, bro, ain't nothing <laughs> open, but to have yeah. someone to play your song out there, that's definitely how you open up. Queen, let them know what happens to the rest of the process here. Hmm. Let them know what happens, man. After he get that song, because he's size. He's size. He's, yes. you know, and, uh, and Uncle, Clifford. Uncle Clifford comes out. He's like, you hear that in there? That's your song playing. And he, uh, Lil Murder was like, you know that's about you? And Uncle Clifford was like, no, it's not. And Lil Murder was like, yeah. So either way, they have their little moment. They had a little moment. And um, like I said, Mr. Sadie, Mer Mississippi, I said Mr. Sadie's. That's crazy that I was able to combine those two names, Mr. Sadie's. Mississippi took all of Mercedes monies, like I said all before. The show must go on. Mississippi was, uh, Mercedes, excuse me. Mm. Why did they give those two the two M's? <laughs> okay. But um, Mississippi ended up taking all of Mercedes money. Mercedes is now in the back of the squad car and that is the end of the episode end of it again we thank you for tuning in to qkjj review of p valley this is episode episode yes. 104 the trap yes yeah, season one and at the end of this episode king said it seemed like everyone got what they were looking for in this episode it seemed that's what it seemed it seemed 
I appreciate you tuning in with us to watch our review of this episode. Of course, we could go longer into this. Please comment down below. Let us know what we missed out on. I am going to try to make the next recap as short as possible. But like I said, it is so much going on in this episode. And I don't know if I missed one little thing. Y'all going to be like, no, you didn't even look. Or you didn't even put on that because that connected to the next thing. So I appreciate you. Keep the conversation going down below. We will see you next time. Remember to love yourself and shout out. Shout out to y'all. <laughs>